to see you guys. I think it. One sec. It's been about a year, I think, since we last did this, and I have moved, so as promised, I'm doing my new flat tour. Okay, so I moved in approximately six weeks ago, and I worked my ass off to get this place sorted. It's still not finished, but we're almost there, so it's time to show you what's inside my house, what I've bought, what's new, and just the kind of vibe, because it's all changed a little bit. Um, so the thing about this flat is it's got two hallways which was really bizarre when we first got it and we were like what are we going to do with two hallways so this is probably the emptier of the two it's the one you see when you first come in and what I love most about this one is the windows because it just gives you so much natural light all through the day and these actually run all the way across the flat. Um, on the left here I finally hung this. I had it in my last vlog but my last video but um, it never made up on the wall so finally it's up. And it's doing its job! There are all my coats, obviously. I think maybe one of Nate's is in there. <laughs> um, so this is the first kind of area we put together. Um, plant area and one of my original Desenio prints that I love. It's the Two Faces prints. Um, I've got so much Desenio throughout my house. I think they're really great and affordable for artwork in the home. Um, not only are the prints affordable and there's like thousands online, but also the frames are really affordable too and they come in loads of different colours. So. We kept it really neutral for the first piece of artwork, um, just to go with the kind of plants that we've got here. This is our newest addition that we bought at um, Columbia Road Flower Market, which is really near. These pots here um, are from Next. Next have an amazing selection of homeware. I've got quite a bit of Next throughout my house. Um, and I love them because they're like really heavy concrete and I like the staggered effect with the little um, braises as well. This bad boy, is H&M Home. I just thought he was really beautiful, neutral, and like added a little bit of texture um, because all the different plants are different textures too. So that was kind of cute. So that's kind of the first area. And then as we move on, we've got a little like boyfriend art gallery here. In case you don't know, I uh, moved in with my man. Um, so that's all really exciting. But obviously the design in the house has to be like a compromise of taste and pieces that we already own. So we made a little like skateboard wall here. Um, he actually collects different designs as well as skateboards. So um, I picked out three of my favorites and we just made a little corner here. So those are Nate's pieces. I love that, that one of the ones he picked out is has a weird two-headed <laughs> baby on it. <laughs> this Jack and Dino's Chapman, they're actually really famous artists. Um, it's so freaky, but one thing me and Nate do have in common, and I'll show you a few more pieces throughout the flat, is we're both like kind of like freaky, like kind of macabre artwork. So anything that's a bit weird, uh, we like it. <laughs> uh, so hallway two coming up. Um, again, this was like kind of an awkward space to fill as well, but I think we've made it kind of work. It's kind of turned into like a library chill area. There's a bar around the corner. So this is kind of where we put all of our bits that don't fit into any of the other rooms. So we bought these two um, Billy bookcases from Ikea. They're not the super deep ones. They're the more shallow ones. And then once we built them, we realized we didn't actually have that many books. <laughs> so I've been like filling it up with stuff as we go along, like purchasing things here and there. So this little number, I have a thing for like hands, like hand ceramics, I've got a few more throughout the flat. This was from H&M Home, who by the way are really amazing for like little interesting like bits, knickknacks to like fill spaces. Um, I also got this from H&M Home which is really cool, it's a cloche for candles. Mmm, bergamot. And I think that candle as well with the little hands is super cute. Um, makes a difference from all the white candles I have. I want to show you these two pieces which are just incredible um, i was very lucky to be given these from um, a design company called buster and punch they actually specialize in machined fixings for houses so like you know light switches door handles that sort of thing but they also had a few home accessories and they gave me these two this one is actually a vase i think it's so beautiful and architectural it's all like hand machine made in like real brass it's so heavy. So I need to get a few stems for that. And then this is also a candelabra. This is like my cheap H&M home cup candelabra. This is my expensive Buster and Punch candelabra. High street, high end. I picked up this print in Lyon at a really weird print store a few months ago. Um, they had like loads of Victorian anatomy prints. So I got that for Nate because 
He's like as blind as a bat, he's got eye problems. So I was like, look, here's the anatomy of the eye. He loved it, but I don't think he appreciated the joke. I've got some Polaroid pictures here. I take so many Polaroid pictures, but I never know what to do with them. So I've started buying these like glass frames. This one is from River Island Home. River Island Home just launched as well, and they've got some really cool bits. I'll show you some more pieces throughout the home tour, but this was my Christmas party last year at my house. Um, and it's just a great way to put one event into like one frame, so you can look back on it and just remember it. It's really nice. It's also got a frame, a chain as well, so I can hang it if I like. We've also got some really interesting books on here, um, stuff that if you stop by for a read, you would enjoy it, maybe be even thrilled by. This is Fucked Magazine. Um, it's Nate's um, idea of... <laughs> interesting. <laughs> it's really funny, I need to sit down and read that. Um, so moving on further into the hall in number two, we have the largest piece of artwork in our house. I'm absolutely in love with this. I can't tell you where it came from because Nate just turned up one day with it but I'm glad he did because it's a massive, taller than me, framed poster of Chanel number no. 5 and it's the limited edition um, red bottle that they launched last year. Really, really cool. We had it rolled up for ages and I was like, I really want to display it because it's absolutely breathtaking and we needed a frame and it turns out frames to size a piece of art with this big is almost impossible. So we did eventually get the frame online and I will leave the links to everything I've mentioned that you can still buy down below in the description box so if you did want to shop any of this stuff, it's there for you. Um, but this was actually the most affordable frame we could find. It's acrylic and it's not that sturdy but it was about £220 still. So it ain't cheap to frame something this big, but I totally think it's worth it, I think it's fabulous. Moving in with a man is an interesting thing. I turned up with enough furniture to literally fill an Ikea, and Nate turns up with a Chanel poster, a rug, and a toothbrush, and a few skateboards. But to his credit, I do actually like the rug, and it made this, it stayed. So this rug is from Wayfair, which is an awesome, awesome place to shop for rugs. If you guys want an affordable rug and you want to like something that's in style, like they've got like Moroccan themed ones, like oriental, like faded ones, bohemian ones, they've also got some modern ones which I don't really like, but the choice is incredible. I will link all my rugs below, um, but really have a look because they're so affordable. I can't help but realise that I match this part of the room mm -hmm. today with my mint jumper. Um, this is my made.com chair, it wasn't in my last flat, um, it was, but I did get it before I moved. I absolutely love it. It's like one of those beautiful classic cocktail chairs that they do really, really well. Again, it's in the velvet and the gold brass combination that I love. I seem to have a lot of that in here. This is an old cushion. It's from H&M Home, but I just love the handprint. And then my beautiful Moroccan poof. You guys might remember that from my last video. Um, it's now in the hallway with the teal chair. And I think it looks really good because I've got a lot of gold accents around here. So I just feel it ties together. Um, this you guys might recognise as my vintage Pierre Cardin table, I got it at um, Brighton Antiques Fair a, a year ago, I love it, um, again I've got my book on display, I just like to flip that to how I'm feeling on the day, I feel like this is me and you cat today, later when we shoot my underwear campaign. Oh yes, <laughs> wait, is that me with the boob out? I usually get a boob out when I shoot. <laughs> Like I said earlier, we were like putting together all of our art and actually this was the first art wall that we put together together um, and it worked really well because all of these are my pieces and then these are his pieces here. Um, Future Islands is one of his favourite bands. So these are just album covers and because it's like some pink and like neutral tones it tied in really well with my Grand Budapest Hotel picture and then some of my Guy Bourdain um, fashion prints as well. Love Guy Bourdain. Love him so much. Another ceramic hand. I told you I like those. This is um, a candle from an online interior store called Polkra. Really, really like their stuff. It's quite like bohemian, like like interesting. Um, and they actually collaborated with an artist called Katie Scott, and she's made all of these limited edition um, candle pots. I think they're gorgeous. This is the Gardenia um, fragrance, but I love how interesting her artwork is. Again, more hands. 
This is new as well, I just picked it up from H&M Home. I have quite a few vases, but I wanted just a really nice basic crystal one. Um, it's not crystal, it's glass. <laughs> Behave. It was like $17.99. Um, I just think it's beautiful. It just sits there and I try to keep fresh flowers in it a lot. So this would normally be my favourite area in the entire house, um, but I have been on a detox for a few weeks, so it's been a little bit neglected. Um, this was in my last flat tour. I'm really, really proud of this find. I found it on eBay. Um, and then went to someone's house and bought so much stuff from their flat clearance. Um, it's a 1930s Baker light uh, trolley and I turned it into a drinks cart. Um, this was kindly gifted to me um, from a blogging friend called Amy and she came to my house warming and she turned up with this. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's from Oliver Bonas. Um, it's just gorgeous and I love the colour so much. So it sits on the bar there. And this is a mirror I originally had in my bedroom in my last flat. It's the Stockholm mirror from Ikea. I just love the shape, it's really architectural. I did attempt to hang it myself and that didn't go too well. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get some around to help with that. So next up we are going into the boudoir. Come with me, come with me. This is probably the biggest bedroom I have ever lived in. Um, but I guess that makes sense because there's two people living in here now. Um, it's a big space and I wanted to keep it like fresh, simple and modern, also have like a very calming feeling. The tones I've gone for on the bed are like greys, muted blues, like soft pinks and I've tried to like add interest to different parts of the room um, with like little accents that are a bit more quirky, a little bit more like interesting I guess. So let's start with the bed. Um, the bed frame itself is from made.com. Um, it's a really simple bed frame, it's like a padded headboard in grey. The bedding you also see here is also made.com which I'll link below. And then most importantly I guess about a bed is the mattress. Now me and my partner both have various types of sleeping issues. Um, I really hate sharing a bed so I wanted a mattress that was not only big enough for both of us to share in but also one that like stopped us feeling each other's movements as much so that's where um, the Simba hybrid mattress came in they very kindly gifted me this mattress um, they've been working with my sister for a while who could not stop saying how amazing they were so I reached out and they were happy to gift me one um, if I liked it I could keep it and we love it it's a really really nice memory foam mattress um, they come in all different sizes like I said ours is super king just for the extra room we've been sleeping on it now for about six weeks and sleeping together Together is definitely getting easier. I love the mattress, um, it feels great, it's really supportive um, and Nate also has like lower back issues too and he says it's been really good for him. So all in all I'm really really happy with the mattress and um, they're also quite affordable in terms of the price, the size and the quality. Sleep is so important especially when you live as busy a life as I do and obviously sharing a bed with your partner for the first time every night is a big change so I've been really happy with the mattress choice we made, it really has helped. Spend my life doing this. I tell you what, when you live with someone, bed making styles could not be more different. <laughs> I've just kind of given in now because every time Nate makes the bed I have to go around like, yeah it's great honey, you did a great job. Great job honey. <laughs> bed is huge. <laughs> great job honey. <laughs> So you guys might recognise these side tables, um, they're from Habitat, bargain of the century, literally got them like three years ago, so cute, just really simple, modern, so we've both still got them, I didn't change them. This I love, this is from Next, it's a pineapple lamp, I just think it's so me, like it's a little bit of quirkiness, it's a little bit of like vintage and it's also like quite neutral as well in terms of colour so it matched well with the grey and blue hues as well. So I absolutely adore it, I think it's gorgeous, all the details. If you haven't watched it, I did a homeware haul before this uh, video went up and I am giving away one of these lamps to one of my viewers. So head over to that video and enter the competition if you want. Um, a few little bits on my side, I've still got this really cute jewellery dish where I take off my jewellery every night. I love these frames, they're so cute, they're from Urban Outfitters, so if you guys do have mini Instax images that you want to put out, then I couldn't recommend these more. Got my hand cream, got the two books on the go at the moment. We're not going to look at Nate's side because it's boring men's stuff, so. There's a lot of wall space in this room, and instead of hanging stuff, I thought I would lean all my artwork. So I've got this really cool picture rail, this is only like, I think £8 maybe, 
from Ikea and on it I've arranged some artwork and I really think this collection of artwork has to embody both of us um, so it's a real mix. Nate is absolutely obsessed with space right now for his birthday I bought him like a 75 pound Tashin NASA book. He's not read it yet but he assures me he will. So these two prints are from Desenio. We've got the really nice planet print which I part paired with a matte black frame and then I got the moon phases print which I put into like a pink copper frame which I thought tied in really nice, nicely with the pink pillows. Um, I'm also really into astrology as well and like moon so that's kind of cute. This was originally in my living room in my old flat. This is a copy of The Bigger Splash, a David Hockney print. My insect taxidermy and my horn taxidermy are also in the bedroom now. I got that at um, a vintage fair in Brighton and this one I actually made myself in Paris at De Royale. So I did just want to show you this which I bought last year. Pretty spenny um, but I do love the Dyson brand. It was that heat wave last year in London. It was absolutely insane. Um, so I bought this because it's an air cooler basically, it also purifies air. Um, I didn't have much use for it out of the summer months until I started living with Nate who is 110 degrees in the bedroom at night. Oh yeah! No, I mean, I just, uh, when he sleeps, you know. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so he basically has this blowing on him on top level all night long. He absolutely loves it, it's his favourite toy. Um, Nah. <laughs> I'm actually really proud of this piece here. We needed a dresser for some extra clothing, like for underwear and that sort of thing, because not everything fitted in the wardrobe. So I picked this up at Ikea. It was a naked pine unit when I first got it. And we went to the shop and we got some stain, some wood stain and some Danish wood oil. And then I also picked up these little handles from HomeSense. I love HomeSense. It's just... Oh, I love it. And they didn't have 10 exactly the same, so I decided to get like similar styles all from the same brand and kind of mix and match to give a little bit more like interest to it. Um, so this was a little project that we did and I'm really happy with it, um, inspired by my sister, by the way, who did something similar with this unit. So this is my perfume collection. Um, it's significantly downsized since my last place. Um, I've got rid of quite a few because I need to make room for all of Nate's fragrances. This is Nate's fragrance. The artwork, you guys might recognise this Namaste in bed. This is also a Desenio print. I had this above my bed last time, so it's moved over to the, the, the dresser. Um, it fits really well, um, but it looked a bit lonely on its own, so I stacked a few other prints. Um, and then I always have a candle in the bedroom because I think it's really atmospheric. This one's from Elemis, and I love how the light comes through in the, the checkered sort of mirrored design. It's really sweet, it smells of rose. Moving on to the corner. Again, this is my upscale printing press. I keep all of my jewelry on here. The jewelry is so hard to see if it's just like in a box. So I love that I can just separate everything out. This is our laundry basket. Again, it's from H&M Home. They've got a really good selection of laundry baskets. Um, I needed to get a bigger one, obviously. We're two people now, so I chose this one. It's got like a kind of um, chevron black thread design through the body of it, and it's like super flexible. It doesn't stand up unless you've got stuff in it, uh, but there's always stuff in it, like most people. Moving on to my mirror. I absolutely adore this mirror. It's again from Wayfair, that shop that I told you that I get my rugs from. They've got a really great selection of leaning wall mirrors. Um, I wanted one that was taller than me so I could get full outfit shots. I love this mirror so much I got two of them. It was also really affordable, coming in around £150. Uh, I think it's just gorgeous. It's got that real like vintage 1930s look with the like beveled edging. Um, I love the little gold accent. It just feels like it could be vintage, even though it's brand new. Um, and it just adds like a little bit of interest to the room, which is predominantly modern around the bed area. So yeah, absolutely adore this. And that's the bedroom. Let's move on. Okay, so let's move into the kitchen living room area. One big difference about this place compared to my last place is the kitchen and the living room are together, which I didn't actually like the idea of. I really like having a separate kitchen to living room just because they cook a lot and the smells, blah, blah, blah. But it's going okay. Let's do the living room portion first. As you can see, the orange sofa is still very much in action. Um, this is my main.com Scott sofa. It's the three-seater version and in the orange velvet. Um, it comes in loads of different colours. 
I get so many messages about this sofa and I always direct people to my last home tour. I think today I've sold about six of these sofas because you guys love them so much. So thank you so much for that. Um, happy to be a sofa inspirer. Um, and I do love the sofa. I thought I would be bored of it really soon, but it turns out um, I'm not. So really happy to have it again in this place. However, I have changed up the color scheme a little bit. So before I had like teal and blue cushions, um, this time around, I decided to get more like neutral Moroccan influences. Most of these cushions are from Next. I mentioned that I love Next. Next are great for cushions. And what I also love about Next cushions is they come pre-filled, which is amazing because often I will order a pillowcase and then forget that I need to actually buy the insert separately. So they're really affordable. This one, for example, was about £12 and it came with the inserts. And I love the pom-poms. This one is like Moroccan style Berber, like the rug that I had in my last living room. And then on the other side, I've got this like really cute one with raised pom-poms. And then I did, just so I could keep some colour in, I kept one of the blue ones in because I thought just add a little bit more colour to the situation. This is my chosen piece of artwork for the living room. It's an artist called Isabella, but um, I found her on Instagram as a recommendation from one of you guys, so thank you so much. I went onto her e-shop and I purchased this print. I feel like this could be like a group of my friends in Morocco enjoying cocktails on a patio somewhere. I love it. Nate was like, it's very feminine, this piece of artwork. I was like, yeah, I know, but a lot of my artwork in this place is quite unisex masculine, so I think it's really nice to have like a nice feminine inspired piece. I ordered the frame online to size. Uh, again, I'll leave all these links below. And then if we just look to the right, this is my original floor light from Ikea, which I had in my last place. I like how the matte black of the frame ties into the matte black of the lamp. So I just feel like it pulls together really nicely. This is really cool. Uh, this is was kind of like a random purchase. Because the living room area is a little bit too small for like an armchair, um, I wanted something a little bit extra. If we had guests around, then I can get people to sit on this. Um, this is from River Island Home. I think it's really nice. Again, it ties in with those like um, ivory natural tones um, of the Moroccan cushions. So yeah, it's also got like big chunky legs. I just love it. It could also be kind of Nordic. So if you're doing like a Nordic Scandi theme in your house, this could also work, but it could also be for more of like a Nordic Scandi interior vibe. But if you're doing something a little bit more eclectic, like my style, then I feel like it works really well as well. Um, I'll just show you the rug. Again, it's a Wayfair rug. I wanted something really neutral, um, but uh, this piece, again, I chose because it had that Moroccan feel because I had the vision in my mind. The rug was the first thing I bought for this room. So the pillows and the stool came afterwards as with the artwork. So this was really the starting point, um, which I think is really important. My advice would be always start with the rug and go from there. You can change out pillows if you want. It's going to be less expensive than changing out a rug. So yeah, I think this rug's going to be with us a really long time though because it's fairly neutral and I feel like it can fit into quite a few sort of interior styles. Moving on to this beautiful table, um, this is actually an upgrade. You guys might remember that I had a really coppery mirrored effect table in my last one. It was such a bitch to clean, so I got rid of it. And I replaced it with this one. It's made.com, I love made.com, I love the circular. So I kind of wanted to keep the circular flow throughout the room, hence the poof and then the little H&M home tray that we've got here. Um, I just feel like it ties together really nicely. A few issues of the latest Vogue. This is my geometric rug. This is an old vase. It's All my... about the rugs. <laughs> it's my geometric vase. I got this ages ago in H&M home. And then this is an H&M home candle as well. Mmm, mahogany. People are really divided on this scent. It's very masculine and woody. And I love it. Makes me want to make out with a bearded man. So there's nothing really new about this corner. I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it. So when in doubt, add a shit ton of plants. Why not? Um, this was my plant and Nate came with these two. This chair was in my last house. It was from Home Sense. It's just like a cocktail chair. I think it looks kind of cool. Again, it's additional seating for guests if they turn up. Um, and then this was purchased from eBay. It's a mid-century modern um, side unit. It's basically filled with Xbox <laughs> controllers because that's my life now. And then like stuff that nobody really cares about, like phone Oh, guys, 
Has hack. So, if you own velvet upholstered furniture like myself, you might find that it's really hard to clean. Um, it's not wipe clean at all because of the nature of the fabric. It also can like harbour dust. So if you do try and like pat it down, then it's really impossible to clean. I found if you use a, a lint roller across the top of the surfaces, then it really, really easily picks up lint, dirt, crumbs, dust, fabric, which have ob obviously tripled since I moved in with the man. Ugh. I will never ever get Nate to do this because he just won't, he won't do it. But I kind of enjoy it anyway. <laughs> One of the best features of this flat definitely is the balcony space that we've got. Obviously a lot of London flats do not have gardens or outdoor spaces so I feel really lucky to have this. Uh, it's quite a big balcony too. I also really like the industrial finishes um, here. So if you just come with me. It's actually quite big. We want to put a barbecue down that end and maybe some deck chairs. So yeah, there's absolutely tons of space and weirdly enough, this goes back into the bedroom. We were living here for like 2.2 seconds and I'm in bed one night and literally I hear this. I shat myself. It was Nate. He thought he was hilarious. <laughs> so this is the kitchen area. Um, it's fairly straightforward. It's a little bit smaller than I would like, but it's cool. It's got the washing machine, the dishwasher, yada, yada, yada. Double fridge, which is needed because two mouths to feed now. Um, and then this is new. This is my new coffee maker. So I'm gonna buy filters, paper filters, and put my coffee in and just let it drip feed through so I can get drip fed coffee. I thought it was really beautiful. Again, H&M Home, about $17.99. Seems to be the magic price at H&M Home. Um, but I really like that. Um, I was doing a little bit of a home scent shop and I realized we didn't have a salt and pepper shaker. And I absolutely adore these. I think they're really my style. They've got that sort of beveled design, clear acrylic, and they feel kind of like 1930s, like they would be modern for their time, but you know, they just add that little bit of luxe to whatever they are, salt and pepper. You guys have recognised my Rourke radio, um, absolutely love this thing. Uh, again, you guys love it too, I've seen that a lot of you have bought this as well. Uh, it's a brilliant piece of kit, um, I Bluetooth my Spotify through this every day when I work from home. I love the wood panelling design, and you guys will probably recognise this from my last kitchen. Solid saying, when nothing goes right, go left. I pretty much go left every single day of my life, if I'm honest, but yeah. So this is where we eat all of our meals. Um, this table was in my last flat. I got it from eBay. Uh, I love it. It's like a 1960s design. It was basically in mint condition when I got it. The chairs really remind me of like school. <laughs> but I think they're so cool. I love this like photographic wood design i think i just i love it it's so retro um and then i wanted some art for the kitchen um it's i've chosen like a drink cocktail inspired piece of art this again is from decenio they actually have loads of different cocktail geometric cocktail art pieces um so take a look if you really like this but i love the aperol spritz one and i also love the aperol and then i like to keep a little vase of usually um daffodils or like yellow flowers just to tie it in make this place look a little bit more put together so bathroom in here, pretty standard affair. You know what goes on in there. I'm not gonna show it to you because it's boring. And we've got the final room, which is, in my opinion, the best room. And I feel so blessed to have this massive studio office space. Oh, the myself. It was decided when I next moved house, I would have an entire room dedicated to my workspace. As a blogger, a content creator, I work from home a lot. I get a lot of samples through. It's just, it's just not fair to have Matt in the house. It's not fair on me because I always feel like I'm working. It's not fair on Nate because he doesn't want to like sit in a hundred lipsticks while he eats his dinner. So um, it was decided we picked some of my two bedrooms and really luckily we found this space and it's just gorgeous. Um, loads and loads of light. They've got the same windows all across. Oops. <laughs> all across which gives me like loads of natural light for shooting, which is amazing. Um, I'll just show you around like the stations, if you will. So this is my vanity. This was in my bedroom last time. Uh, this is where I do my makeup. I also film videos. So I have like 
little lights here that I attach to my camera phone when I film on my Pixel. Um, all my makeup here that I use every day is stacked in here. If you guys do want to see what is in my makeup drawer, then I do actually have a video dedicated to everything that I love and I use on a daily basis. I will link it down below. So that's kind of where I film makeup looks. Over here is my stylus rail. This was in my living room before and it was always on show and it was really stressful so I like having it tucked away. Um, I am actually filming haul week soon so I've been shopping as you can see. ASOS, Nasty Girl. Um, also I've got a few samples in that I need to shoot as well. You can see that there's a kind of neutrals theme going on right now in my wardrobe. Like I said before, I have another one of those beautiful beveled mirrors in here. This is taking like daily outfit shots on my phone just to upload to Instagram stories. And then this area is my YouTube area. The sofa is from John Lewis and the cushions are H&M, Next, and this one is from Soho Home which is part of Soho House. They've just launched like a new interiors section. Um, and I really like this area. The light's grey and I just move my camera and my, my ring light out in front of me and I shoot and then I put them back. And it's just nice to be able to have my equipment out and not feel like I need to tidy it all away all the time because it's so time consuming. Time consuming. On the wall I've got some prints. This frame is so unique as well. It's like a floating frame and I love that. Um, all decennio. So moving on to the desk area, um, when I wanted to get a new desk, I wanted to get a desk big enough for like two people to work at. Um, so that's why I've got this really big one. This is actually made from Ikea worktop and the legs were bought separately and attached. So it's a really nice long space. I don't feel like it's too cluttered ever. I've not really finished this area, but it's just kind of like a work in progress. I think this is pretty cool. Jessica calls it my cheesy what's it like, but it's actually a Himalayan <laughs> salt lamp and it's supposed to give out like positive ions, uh, good vibrations to the room. So I really like that, got my crystals there, little pen pot. So yeah, this is like a working space. So this was basically all the storage I had for my samples in my last flat. These are IKEA units, they're so handy, I love them. So I basically kept them exactly as they are, all separated into like toners, sheet masks, masks, cleansers, bronzers, lipsticks, shadow, blah, 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 blah. But on top of that, I now have these Billy bookcases, which are so, so useful. I haven't filled them all up yet because I'm still like working through everything, but I can now compartmentalize all my products that come in so I can kind of organize them in a way I want to, and it means I can see them so I don't forget about them and I will actually shoot them or try them or test them or review them, whatever. So as you can see here, we've got like a shelf that's entirely dedicated to beauty. This is gonna be a new, a new in beauty video coming up. This is all body care. This is all hair care. This is all stuff that I love and I use but I don't use every single day. Um, this is where I store all my camera equipment and my cameras that I use. And then the rest is kind of ad hoc, like I've got some files there, some art canvases. It's just great to have a place to put everything that's not just stacked on top of itself and is relatively organised, so... Pan to here. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, um, we're not looking at that. <laughs> we're not looking at that. Okay, so that's my office studio space, and weirdly enough, this room has two doors, so if I take you through this one, we are right back where we started in the first hallway. So yeah, that is my home tour. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. There's lots of new bits around, and obviously I had to adapt my style a little bit to suit the man in my life. But yeah, overall, it is still very much my design and aesthetic. So yeah, as mentioned, I'll link everything below. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave all your comments below and make sure you subscribe. So yeah, that's it. I will show you the door. And next time, don't forget to tell me you're coming around. Unannounced guests are not appreciated. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>